What's up, everybody? This is Ingram and <laughs> Gas and Jack. <laughs> you gonna say anything over there? <laughs> hang, hang on, oh no, no, no <laughs> just say that's Ingram, and then I'll be. What's up, everybody? This is Ingram, and I'm currently late for a board meeting, but I'm going to show you guys a little bit of. This is our old base, um, and we have since moved. You can see the little hole marker way out there. It's our old farm, our old awesome. Um, and this place was subject to heavy slime and creeper infestation, and so it was abandoned uh, for greener pastures. We can see Ovidius's obsidian empire over there. So we're just going to go gonna head over to a new high speed flight armor. Should probably do a legit flyover of this thing, huh? Crap. So here we are. The Mindcrafters headquarters. The facility of the pimps. Something like that. This is a little aerial shot of our base. It's a considerable upgrade from the last thing that you saw. And we're going to go through what's going on in here. Right now, we're late for a board meeting. So let's just try and glide our way in. Yar, give me late. <laughs> there he is, the captain. Well, I'm, su I'm sure Ingram just showed you a uh, tutorial above his base, and now we'll see it again. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it's going to be, huh? This is the Minecrafters boardroom, and this is where the magic happens, if you know what I mean. I don't yeah. actually know what you mean, and I don't want to know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to walk through this entire building. Uh, a lot of people have been asking for a walkthrough of our facility, and this is again on our Tech It Light server. And we're not going to go very in depth on everything that's in here. We just wanted to give you guys an update of how much progress that we've made. So here we are in the first room. This is an ugly room. Yes, it really is. That's why we took all the windows out of it. This is our uh, crops. Yeah, we make fish. I don't know what carrots, uh, potatoes, and wheat, because we be hungry. A little wrath lamp hiding up in the back up there. Right. Uh, I made a wheat. Look at that. Look at you making wheat like a pro. Anyways, we'll keep it yeah. off. So that's where we make all the food to supply the troops with. Uh, our new armor that we're using, we actually burn through food quite a bit. We can tell what time of day it is. It's how legit we are. We have our little uh, little private rooms, which don't uh, go in there. <laughs> <laughs> have the unfortunate habit of growing. They were initially supposed to be just like a five by three, but then um, they have they tend to do this, <laughs> and you just keep going. And there's like hidden rooms that you notice when the world doesn't load right and then you come around the corner and you realize that Captain Jack is experimenting with a breeder reactor <laughs> right above the main base they're just Don't kind of that. yeah we'll just pretend we didn't see that it was extremely nerve-wracking and then this weird room oh yeah he's making stuff in there yeah right. that was a hidden room where uh, yeah. nothing's nothing's, nothing's hidden from server glitches is. Captain Jack there's his little have my own private monitoring uh, monitoring room for all the reactors that we have. So we can keep a weather eye on the reactors as it were. And his little bookshelf. Anyways, don't mind anything in here. Nuclear tool chest. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't get in there. Alright, so. And then mine is like, no, don't go with mine. Mine's pathetic. No, no, you got a machine in here. A very important machine. What very important machine? The uh, blunderbuss factory. Oh, there. the blunderbuss That's factory. Right. Yes, actually, um, I broke the blunderbuss factory, which is a, it was a sad day, kind of. Get out of the way. Oh. And where did you get? What in the world? What is Zelda doing in there? I don't really know. It's the waterfall room, apparently. Yeah. So this is my little secret room. It supercharges my armor. And makes certain pieces of armor, which we won't discuss while Captain Jack is right here. <laughs> but this thing, the blunderbuss is a deadly weapon and uh, needs to be crafted with care. So this thing, a bunch of crafting benches, and you hit this button, bloop, 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 you create a blunderbuss. Ooh, 
Oh man, blunderbuss to the hilt. Boom, there's another one. So, now, I'm not never, sure why you need that many blunderbusses. You never know when you're going to come in. You're going to come in from a, a deadly battle. Yeah, I kill more of uh, the Minecrafters, actually, than than I do mobs. This is Shiny's room. This is Shiny Metal. Um, oh, there's something behind here. Yeah, I know he had a waterfall. What's this kid doing? I don't know. He dug too deep. I too think it greedy. was a, uh, like a griefing trap or something to keep people out of here. No, oh, probably. Right. I'm going to hide a creeper in his room. <laughs> um, what else we got? Oh, we have catacombs and stuff down here. Yeah, we can wait to go yeah, down there. For yeah. A there's, there's not really, there's not really anything down there, I don't think. Except for that one project that we won't talk about. Um, our armory. I don't know why we're giving people gold armor, but... And there's quantum armor in this, but unfortunately Zelda made himself the owner. Our apothecary. Oof. This is clearly under construction. Yeah, he tore down everything. There's all recipes in the walls. I don't know oh what world. happened. He basically abandoned us. Yeah. For real life. Who does that? Enchanting. Jerk. What's up here? Oh, his... Yeah, he just got like all these projects. He's got a lab going on up here. Oh, they're all unfinished, so. Yeah. All right, we won't spend too much time on his stuff because it's bootleg. <laughs> Hopefully, right. he doesn't watch this video. Yeah, yeah, Zelda, don't don't keep watching this video because you're going to be a subject of ridicule. All right, so here's our main lab, which is not the black lab. It's not a dog, unfortunately. Captain Jack <laughs> <laughs> has an affinity to black pearl. Alright, what's all this? Oh, this is our um this is our sorting wall. Everything we dump into this blue chest right here will get sucked out and I gotta keep some of this stuff I guess. We'll automatically get sorted. And oh you changed them this to mag tubes now. Oh yeah. I didn't notice that. High speed baby. Boom, there it comes. It's gonna come whizzing through here. We can kinda see these things all firing off. Bloop bloop bloop. Stuff shooting through. It'll get tagged with a color. And then go zip it into here. Go watch the, uh, oh, actually, you can't watch it because it's not uploaded yet. But <clears throat> there is a tutorial on how to build one of those for yourself. Um, I don't like sorting my own inventory, so I built machines that do it for me. We also don't like uh, manually putting things into macerators, compressors, extractors, or furnaces. So we came up with this ingenious little design. Each one of these has, f or eight, I guess, yep. eight different machines, all remotely powered. Um, there's no wiring except in what you see in these blocks. Yeah. And you dump things into this these relays down the bottom. It sucks it through. It, there's four machines in the bottom, four machines in the top. Sucks it through. Macerates, extracts what it, whatever you're you're doing with any of your items. Finishes, makes the final products, and then sucks it out the top through ender chests. Which if Ingram comes up here, you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on with yeah. the top of these kind of a mess up here um, mostly because there's sequencers and I hate those um, working on a solution for that but this works really well I just don't like the ticking noise that sequencers make so yeah these work really well for the dense copper plate that I needed for reactor materials and yeah. if you just throw tons and tons of copper bars into these things it sorts it through all the machines and it makes it really fast it automatically sorts it for me and dumps it right into a chest and I can just kind of set it and forget it for a little while um, these towers are our pulverizer and furnace rigs. Um, traditionally, people use build craft and have like iron furnaces or electric furnaces with macerators and stuff. Um, these are thermal expansions machines, and they're awesome because you can actually configure what sides do what. And so right now, things can come in the top, and then they get piped out the back, and it's the same setup as the tower over there. Everything pipes straight up. And actually, they hit relays and come shooting up through the relays and into the bottom of the ender chest. So if a piece of ore comes in from one of our quarries, these are the uh, quarry chests. If a piece of ore comes in there, it'll get tagged, depending on what type of ore it is. And then it gets pumped into one of these um, rigs. And the rig will actually process the ore and pump it back through. And... The reason we pump things back through is because in the case of like iron and stuff, we have so much stinking iron um, that we have it, I know I'm skipping ahead here a little bit, but we have it all come up and get compressed into blocks and 
that all comes up here and then these things are all crafting tables um, and for example nickelite which everybody has a ton of gets pumped into nickelite blocks now each one of these blocks is um, it's actually nine of the lower components so nine nickelite make one block so there's tons of tons of stuff up here hey we have a lot of copper now and the moral of the story is energy condensers are pretty hard to replace yeah <laughs> you Take wouldn't it. need any of this stuff if we had condensers but uh, th there's a lot of ways you can get around it and it's pretty fun trying to figure out all the nifty little ways to equivalent exchange 2 spoiled us with those condensers but it is a lot of fun not having them uh, here's our project board which I surprised Captain Jack with <laughs> very recently we had a, a low tech project board and I just went and went hog wild with uh, industrial panels a little note a little message boards we kind of booted uh, Shiny out. Him and Ovidius are doing their own thing. I don't know why you're doing that. I'm bringing Sexy back. Oh, he's bringing Sexy back, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got him. Right, um, I think that's it. Oh, the, we, we discussed that chess. Okay, let's go yeah. downstairs maybe. Oh, first. and then this too. Um, this is our mob zapper, which is running right now. It, I don't know what area it patrols right now. One, two, three, probably a 56 or a 46 block radius all around the base. Um, it kills any any mob that gets within within range, <coughs> and if it runs out of uh, if it runs out of power, it makes the most ridiculous noise ever. Please don't make it happen. It scares <coughs> the crap out of me. <coughs> oh yeah. So anyway, that will kill anything. You occasionally you see those like lightning beams arc through stuff and zap something right in front of you. This right. big sad empty room down here. <laughs> yeah. We used to have. Uh, I think it was four total of these combustion engine rigs getting pumped in with fuel, water, and they were running basically our entire base at yep. one point, I think. All of our quarries and everything. Yeah. Unfortunately, these things uh, have been discontinued. Yeah. This is um, a Mark I remote power core, and we have since upgraded to, I don't know, what are we on? Mark four, three. I don't even know. I don't even know. But yeah, these black spots in the floor were where we had a bunch more of these things running. There are screenshots on our website that show this machine functional and there was a control room in here with a bunch of circuits that we were using to turn these things on for a while, turn them yeah. off for a while. Uh, and these done. walls were lined with um, fuel tanks and oil tanks. This is a great machine if you're, like we we would have never gotten anywhere without this so it started us off. Well, yeah. It's raining outside. Good huh? stepping stone. Yeah. So, and then that was a stepping stone for Captain Jack's nuclear reactor. Um, and this, more importantly. Yeah, and the nuclear reactor was a stepping stone for the automated, fully automated, high voltage solar array facility. Um, this thing is completely automated. It runs entirely on UU matter. Um, if you have excess stuff from a quarry, you can actually inject it into these. It'll pump it into the system to reduce the strain. Let's see if we get any made. Yeah, there's one sitting right here. So it made another one. What is that? Medium voltage. Um, it furnaces everything. It smelts. It um, grinds coal. I mean, it makes it makes every single step. And all the raw materials are crafted from UU matter or, in the case of um, cobblestone, we use cobblestone generators. And the system supplies itself, keeps itself running. It will automatically self-regulate. It'll handle its own overflow. Uh, we can see UU matter pumping into the chest here. Yeah, take a look back here for a second, too. This will dramatically reduce the need for glass fiber cable all over the place. Oh, yeah. By using these things here. What this is, this is an LV um, pneumatic generator. And this sitting on top of is a redstone energy cell and these are redstone energy conduits um, this these redstone things and this gold conductive pipe they take um, build craft power which is MJ and convert it with the use of a pneumatic generator into EU which is IC2 power so from this one setup we're powering um, a couple build craft this is actually thermal expansion and we're powering, I think this is a induction furnace. There you go. Mass readers and everything. All powered wirelessly. We don't have any wires connecting these things. 
<coughs> which is nice because we like to build things that we uh, that don't require a lot of effort to maintain. Oh, I'm starving here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it's getting real. <laughs> Run out the long nines. Actually, I'll oh, no. probably <laughs> kill you. <laughs> And this is probably the most important wing of our entire factory because it's supplying an absolutely massive amount of power through the HV solar arrays for us. And yeah. the longer we let it sit, the more we get, and the more the better. All right. So, if you're asking what in the world do we do with all those HV arrays, we should probably show you how many we have and then show you what exactly we're doing with them. So, this is actually a project that's currently... Under, we're missing a stair. It's currently under yeah. construction. Oh, I see the reactors are fully operational. They are. Each of these bad boys is producing, what, 2240? Yeah, 2240. Could up it, but there's really no need to Yeah. at this point. They are fully shielded. They are fully automated, fully self-sustaining. This, In fact, this whole factory, um, it, it refills its own UU matter, and... Crafts every single captain. This is really your thing if you want to take over real quick. I mean, uh, I suggest you watch the videos of the other reactors to actually know what in the world is going on here. I don't, we're not going to have the time to explain this entire thing in this video, um, but these are just two six chamber nuclear reactors uh, with 20, I think 22 quad uranium cells in each, a bunch of LDH condensators being cooled automatically by lapis. And it's generating or it's creating its its own quad uranium cell, so I don't have to do it. Yep. And those run. Um, right now we're running like a hybrid setup, and those will run. The reactors will run at night to make sure that we're uh, staying power. These babies are just on because they're awesome. Let's see if they take damage when I shoot them. Oh, the long nines has no effect. Hey, let's not shoot the nuclear thing, please. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a long time to make this. It's really a bad idea. Okay, see all this crap floating all over the floor? All these bits and pieces of skeletons and uh, creepers? That's from the mob zapper that we showed you before. And I'm holding in my hand the latest edition, which is still under construction, the beacon. Oh, what's that pointing towards? <laughs> oh. That is looking at roughly... I don't know what the, the last count is. We're over 80. I think we're close to 100. Um, those are all high voltage solar arrays, and they are all they have all been built by the uh, solar array factory that we showed you before. Every single one of these. I don't think I I don't think we built any of them by hand. I, I think I built one. Did you? In the beginning, yeah, when we only had medium yeah. voltages. It's just horrible. I mean, it's absolutely horrible to 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 do. All right. This is our newly acquired beacon. We actually just got this today. We took a video of us. A wither bot. Oh my word. That was happening. That was a lot of time. <laughs> Only once though. But that was quite horrible. Things didn't go so well. Yeah, what's this showing us? Besides Oh. Besides nothing. That's I, go. I got sick of not knowing what time it was when I was inside, so this thing tells me how long till my power runs out. And before power runs out, let's take a gander at just how much power we're uh, we're using. Just get my little EU reader here real quick, and let's see how much power is being pumped through our base. What is fifty-five thousand one hundred and sixty-nine EU per tick? Now there's twenty ticks in a second, so that's over two hundred thousand EU per second. Check how fast that UU matter is being produced. Oh, that's, yeah. That says it all right there. That's what keeps us running. EU is the Tekkit light endgame material. So we need lots of it. It is. Oh, we. You know what else we didn't show down here is actually how much extra that we have. Oh, in this yeah. Barrel. <laughs> yeah, that's a sizable amount. Captain Jack yelled at me because I was pilfering all of the UU matter for my uh, facility. So we have 232 stacks plus 30 which is 14,878 UU matter. And that's just sitting there in case somebody needs some. <laughs> that's pretty obscene. Each one of these uh, solar arrays takes roughly, I think I got it down to like 3,900 um, UU matter per solar array. So the fact that we have almost 100 solar arrays, that tells you how, how bought. Let's see if we can get some. Let's watch. Look at how fast that thing's making them. 
that's just obscene. And the obscenity is uh, is actually helped here by um, the, uh, I don't really know if this is like a Mark III maceration rig. I mean, it's not macerating anything, but it's just a big, just a big scrap them. machine. These things are all um, igneous extruders, and they make, they take lava and water, and it's free actually to make cobblestone. They make one every two seconds, so I don't, I don't know how many I have. Each one of these rows is, I think, eight. But this is all getting piped through, um, through relays into chests, and then these sorting machines are pumping into our recyclers, which are turning all of the um, cobblestone into a scrap. Then the scrap is getting pumped into this chest here, which is getting turned into scrap boxes, which are getting pumped into um, the mass fabricator. And you can't, it actually processes them so fast you can't see them ever. Um, you just, if you watch here every once in a while, you can see two uh, UU matter come out at the same time, like that. Um, and that's the only way you can tell that you actually hit. <coughs> yeah, something something else really important to note here, especially if you've been using Red Power in Tech 8 Classic, are these sorting machines and how they're working. Um, if you'll notice, they're not on a timer. They're completely, um, they're, they're self-sustaining. Basically, they have their own redstone tick. If you change them to a certain mode inside, then it will automatically pull items out or push items into a chest without having the need for lots of timers. So. I'm yeah. not sure how many timers we have or sequencers, but I think it's just a few downstairs. We only have one, as far as I'm aware. We only have one timer, or one sequencer. And we well, those ones on top of the rigs up there. Yeah, that's the only one that's left, I think. Okay. And then this, this is to show you how it, how it works. Um, I don't know if I can go fast enough. Just put a bunch of stuff in there. So as soon as I put it in the chest, the sorting machine automatically pulls it all out. Um, it's set to send its own redstone signal and to pull stacks of items, and it just pumps them through. Oh man, I missed it. It's too fast. And they already oh, out. Junk on me to they already all got sorted. You got any crap in your inventory? Yeah, I got a few. I'll put it through here. All right. There it comes. Boom, boom, boom. Some of it will get tagged. Um, actually, none of this will get tagged right away. It'll come whizzing through. It'll get this thing sorts, and anything that's um, compressible gets pumped upstairs to get compressed. Anything else gets put into our array and then gets put into our chest. And these are all I mean these are all hammered. These are loaded. We got a lot of unsorted stuff. Yeah, I know. That's right. Should probably get on that. We can go back down in the catacombs for a second. I don't think there's anything else in the main base. There's a few different things down here. I'm actually worried about what's down here. This is an unprotected zone. I don't think the mob zapper reaches this far. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is the back of our... Uh, this is the chicken. The, the chicken coop. <laughs> this is the back of the chicken head. Uh, there's no chickens in it right now because I accidentally killed them all when I was building another tower of uh, power. Oh, I put all my steak through the sorting machine. Now I'm starving. There's there's actually uncooked. There's a ton of oh, uncooked yeah, right meat in here. here. Huh? Yeah. I can eat some raw beef. Yeah, why not? Turns you green every once in a while, though. Yeah. This is our uh, auto enchanting rig, and there is tons of stuff called mob essence. And basically, what happens is, see all the enchants I have on that thing? It's kind of ridiculous. Um, the new version of Tech It, Cla or Tech it Light, they kind of. Do you have a book on you? No. Uh, I just think. threw everything in the sorting machine. They um they nerfed it a little bit. Um, used to be able to just keep putting items in here and having them get enchanted. Um, but now it's better to put a book in there and then to take the book and hit it in an anvil and uh, and chain your and chain your weapon that way. Um, this all this stuff is from mobs that have been slain by that machine right there, called the mob grinder. And these are actually they're using pipes, Captain. I don't even know if you know what those pipes are. I don't think I ever showed anybody. These are liquid ducts, and these are high-speed water transport pipes from the thermal expansion mod, mm. and they're um, they're way easier to use than waterproof pipe, and they are um, the the more stuff they have in them, the faster it flows through. So they're actually extremely useful. But there's a uh, there's a mob farm actually in the Nether that's kind of supplying this. These f um, mob farms they should have a ton of animals in them, but that thing killed them all. Um, but they are oh, self-sustaining. Because we were afraid of lag. Yeah. 
I mean, I guess I can take the blame for that. <laughs> um, this thing is set to not kill players and to, um, it's actually going to kill all items. Oh, yeah, because it kills so many mobs. So if actually, yeah, is, it, stuff is it on right now? Over the ground. If I throw something out, yeah, see, watch that. As soon as I throw something out of my inventory, it gets zapped. You can see <laughs> that beam arcing towards me. Which can be bad if you throw out like a really expensive machine. But uh see yourself warned. This is, oh, this is a project we shouldn't show that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing is growing on it yet. <laughs> I know. I haven't I haven't finished setting it up. This is gonna be an automatic um an automatic oak tree farm because you can turn oak into obsidian and obsidian into iron, so it would cut off nine hundred and eighty six EU EU. Nine hundred and eighty six UU matter from the cost of a uh of an HV solar array, which is roughly uh, it's roughly 25%. And he's fighting Enderman here. I'm going to look at this Enderman and watch watch him get killed. Where'd he go? He's up attacking me. See that thing? Our mob zapper just zapped him. Things can't get anywhere near. We don't mess around. Especially when you run out the long nines. <laughs> He's like a wizard over there. <laughs> that looks hilarious. Oh, man. This guy's about done. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. yeah I think that's it, really. I, we kind of hit on everything. The chicken head. Obviously not very in-depth, but... Oh, the violet hold. Oh, the violet, the violet hold. hold. Which, as you know, is a old instance from... World, World of Warcraft. Warcraft. In Dalaran. Let's get a little flyby of the violet hold. So this is... Um, for those of you who don't know what the violet hold is... Um, you're not really going to know by looking at our thing either because it's not done. It just looks like a boob. <laughs> <It's just> <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is the Violet Hold. <laughs> no, no, no. There probably should be some epic music. But there's the wizard at the end of the Violet Hold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good thing that doesn't blow up bricks. <laughs> I think I destroyed the sign. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is going to be... We have, we have captured several... Um, mobs. We're going to put a wither boss here. We've I actually I, I forgot to capture one in our our ventures earlier. But I captured a ghast, I captured an enderman, um a couple different things using safari nets and we're going to actually put them in here locked in force fields. It's going to be kind of like a zoo of deadly creatures. Occasionally we may uh invite unsuspecting noobs in and and then turn the force fields off, but <laughs> I know that one we should wither <laughs> our entire base. I know, I'd rather not have a wither roaming around. I'd rather not get killed by one more than once. <laughs> yeah. The Minecrafters, that's us. This there is it our is. Take it light base. It's we're going to we're going to keep updating it. Um this thing has changed so much. We really haven't been able to make a video because every time we build a new machine, we we rip the old ones down and yeah, continue to add on and Like we literally fabricated this whole dome yesterday because I didn't like the way that we had our solar arrays set up before so that's pretty much where we're at that's our base anyway there are other bases but uh, we should probably eventually do a Chief Diesel flyover <laughs> that's an interesting <laughs> one I've died more at Chief Diesel's base than than even at the Wither Boss I didn't even die at the Wither Boss Chief Diesel's base kills me every time I go over there but there we go. That's our base. This is my automatic overclocker factory. Oh. What else did we forget? I don't know. I just pressed a lever out here and Oh yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's for my that's my construction guideline. All right, guys. Oh, we forgot about oh. this. This is our remote power core. Oh, not important at all. Not important at all. <laughs> I mean, it just runs everything in our base that we're too lazy to wire. Um the main trunk lines come out of the nuclear reactor here and over there. Um, this trunk line is to our solar array, and this light will turn on when there's light. Um, yeah, actually, that's, that's technically correct. But this light will turn on when there's daylight, um, powering the solar arrays, pumps all that stuff in here. MFSUs are charged over here. One of them charges the whole base. The other ones charge up this remote power core, um, which takes in EU and turns it into uh, Minecraft jewels. And during the day, when it's actually daytime, this thing will consume 2,500 EU per tick and output 
a thousand Minecraft jewels per tick. <clears throat> and this is what's actually running all of our nether quarries, if you've seen those videos, any of our quarries at all. We have a ton of high speed um, stuff that's run off this. Those maceration rigs, oh yeah, represent. That's right, Minecraft is down. See if that can take a hit. Um, this thing's going to keep, it's it's going to keep our base running. It's significantly smaller footprint. I can actually get rid of some of this stuff. Um, for example, this one's empty. And this one's not. This one's empty, actually, because it's nighttime. That's the one we're monitoring, right? No, we're monitoring the other one. But, okay, I think that's it. You have to stay poised for other videos. There will be more. Eventually, we'll do the Violet Hold when it comes out. We're going to do, once our control room is done, we're going to do a, a little bit more advanced walkthrough, maybe some tutorials on, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff yeah, that's not in here Yeah, this control room is going to be epic, to say the least. Yeah. I mean, you, this thing just shows the time, and it's epic. I know. I mean, like, when have you ever seen the time that epically <laughs> presented? Probably never. I mean, I'm, I'm in awe just myself. We want to know what what the weather is outside. Yeah. How much heat's coming out of the reactors? How the breeder reactor's doing? How how the solar factory is doing? Um, we want to know when Chief Diesel is taking naps and sleeping. And yeah. Or what everybody else is doing. They yeah. need to add remote cameras onto here so you can see portions they really of do. the map. Really do. Cause some of the stuff legit. that Ovidius does me, this just worries me. It'd be legit. Why is there an arrow stuck in there? Oh, that was me. Yeah. My bad. Yarg. All right, guys, darts. check us out on our website. It's theminecrafters.com. Subscribe to our channel. Keep watching our videos. Now, if you have any questions, please ask. We'd be happy to do a tutorial on you or a tutorial for you on um, whatever you would like to know. Um, we don't know everything, but we do know a lot. So. And we build with ridiculosity, and overkill is our middle name. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, Stay poised. Stay poised. Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Gang? <laughs> well, I better sign out because I'm about to get killed. <laughs>